Thanks, Lawrence. I'll be in here if you need anything. We'll be fine. Okay, these are the encryption codes, but the data is incomplete. It won't let me open the files. But Chance got all the disks. I was there. They're not here. Gregorov. What? Contact Gregorov. You said he showed up at the Farcom warehouses just before you were forced to leave. Why was he there? The SVR was called in to deal with the missile launch. Maybe. Or maybe he was after the same thing we were. The siphon filter data. Do you think he had someone on the inside? You know him. What do you think? Could he be working with the agency? I doubt it. But let's find out. That's right. You guys go way back, don't you? We were both in Afghanistan. I wouldn't say we were friends, but we respect each other. Lian Zing, I thought perhaps you would be calling. Yes, uh, of course, we must talk. But in person, yes? In a public place? But why? Very well, if you insist, I know a place. Da, I look forward to seeing you again. Gregorov's going inside. Copy. We're only a block away. Call if you need help. I do love how <laughs> Gregorov is just getting down with his bad self. Anyway, guys, welcome back to more Siphon Filter 2. So, here we are again as Lian Jing. Using Fa uh, Fagan's encryption codes, you have discovered that you don't... that you didn't retrieve all of the necessary data files in Kazakhstan. It's likely that Gregorov's SVR forces got the, fir uh, got the rest after you left. You've now come to Club 32, a trendy dance club in downtown Moscow, to meet with Gregorov. Before you could contact him, Mara Am Amarov appeared and attacked. In the ensuing chaos, Gregorov fled. You must catch Gregory, oh, Greg Gregory, yeah, Greg, before he escapes and convince him to give you the remaining data. His bodyguards seem to be in conclusion, uh, in, 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 in collusion with Amarov and our, ex our expendable targets. But if the Russian militia shows on the scene, avoid any conflict with them. Yeah, so things have gone pretty bad. Mara is always bad news. Uh, whoever you are, I will kill you. Not if we kill you first, shit stain. Now you gotta move pretty bloody quickly here, because there's gonna be loads of enemies down below as well. Um, there's also one, or maybe two. Yep, him in the corner there, throwing grenades at us, which is pretty rough of him to be honest. Oh no, it's not him that's throwing grenades. Not sure who is throwing grenades at us, but either way, unacceptable behavior to be honest. I also like what Leon's wearing here. She looks ready for some club action. Alright, looks like everybody's dead. 
This is good. Okay, everybody wasn't dead, apparently. Where's the guy that's throwing grenades? You ain't killing no one, son. Your men might, but you ain't. Not that I think they're his men. I think he's just like a random... Yeah, so don't... Right, we need to find out who's hocking grenades at us. And we're almost out of bullets, which is bad news bears for sure. Where are those grenades come? Ah, hello. You, sir. Bit naughty of you, isn't it? Throwing those hot potatoes at me. Bastard. I hope you're choking to death. Right, where's the other one? I'm sure there's another guy in here. Oh, that looks like that's it. All right, let's get out of here. What gun did we pick up? Ah, yes, this biz gun. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the gun that you get in Resident Evil uh, 2. Resident Evil 2? No, Resident Evil um, 7. All right. Come on, let's go for those headshots. Well, you know, let's just go for any kind of shot that lands, to be honest. Yeah, this gun's pretty cool. Humongous drum magazine on the thing. Which we're going to be uh, taking advantage of. We're also going to want to harvest up all the ammo that we can. Because, man, that was not the best opening we've ever had, huh? And I don't think there's a lot left of old Club 32. Let's get out of here. Now, this place is dicey as all hell. Let's just say that. These guys will be going for headshots. Pretty much exclusively. So. We're going to have to be very careful here. And we're going to have to go for whatever kind of shot that we can get that's going to land in the quickest time. Evening, Squire. Nice shotgun you've got there. Might have to borrow that, although we already do have a shotgun, I believe. Now, this is intense down here. Okay, it's not quite the bit I thought it was. I know at some stage we're going to get grenades thrown at us, which is not fantastic. Luckily, the 45 is not a terrible gun, actually. But then, you know, I think most guns in Siphon Filter are pretty good. They all seem to do a relatively similar amount of damage. With uh, some exceptions. Alright, we can pick up some more armor as well. I think that guy was about to throw a grenade at us as well. That would have been bad news. Now, this bit is a fuck nugget. Because we're going to kill him and then we're going to get attacked from behind and in front as well. Alright, he's done. Now, as soon as we cross the threshold down here, we are going to get attacked. Let's see if we can't pop that. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Where does that put us? Oh, right. Oh, okay, that's fine. That is fine. Yeah, I think they just expect that you're going to get problems here. And everyone is going for those headshots. Right, okay, cool. Here he comes. Flak jacket as well. Come on, Leon. Ah, oh, you fucking bastard. Yeah, this bit is really spicy. Okay, All right, let's get rid of you. I wonder actually if it's worth activating this guy. And then just circling around. That works actually. Yeah, that's better. It's probably more efficient. Probably. You're done. Now where's this other... There he is. Got him. Cool. Done and done. Alright. Let's get 
out of here. Alright, that'll work. Now I know somewhere vividly oh hello. Vividly remember a guy throwing grenades. Nope, we're not going that way. Huh. Ah yes. Through the vents. How silly of me. Come on, Leon. Let's go. Yeah, ma'am. Nope. This way. This way. Man, I mean, she's uh, as quick as a grease Scotsman as well. Must be a lot of butter in these vents. Who are we fighting? Who knows? Well... Whoa, you son of a bitch! I don't remember him throwing grenades in... There we go. <laughs> Alright, this bit's a bit spicy. We complete the mission. Still nothing. All right, come on. There we go. Wait for this tear gas to dissipate. Yeah, we get in trouble if we kill these guys. That's fine. Oof, he's done. We're doing the Lord's work here. Open the cops as much as we can. Right, things get a little bit nasty down here. Wow, there's a lot of them. Really? <laughs> that sucked. You can actually get the whole lot. If you're lucky with a better aim than what I had there. Where's the other one? Come on, you sneaky... There you are. I thought we had a knife. Uh, I think, yep, there's another two guys coming. Man, they just keep stacking them up, huh? Oof. Okay. Alright, a little bit of uh, exchanging fire there. Alright, we're good. We're good. Alright, check those corners. He's done. Now, there's one right around this corner who could be a little bit of a spicy sausage. But he now has an extra hole in his head, so I have to worry about him. Alright, careful. There's the grenade that I've been fearing. Okay, this guy is a son of a bitch with his grenades. We're gonna stick one up his ass. Actually, we can't. We don't have grenades. Ooh! Hello! Now, was that the grenade guy? Actually was. All right, I wasn't aware that he actually came out and charged us. That's curious. That's, uh, oh, that's grenades. Thought that was a flak jacket. All right, we'll have it. We'll have it. Now, one must be careful around every corner. In fact, we can Ah, uh, you can't lean out with grenades, can you? That's fine. Whoop. And that did not go as expected. Right, let's see if we can... Come on. There we go. <laughs> now, did that actually kill him? Yeah, it did. All right. <laughs> that could easily have gone the other way. Now, welcome to the rave room. Oh, man. Yeah, this isn't good for those of you who have epilepsy or anything like that, really. Any kind of neurological disposition to seizures. seizures. 
You're gonna have a bad time. Got you. Whoa! Oh, there's a guy in here that throws grenades. Ah, only in this late hour do I remember. Right, okay. Oop. Let's try something with a little bit more poke to it. Now, I can't remember if these guys have got flak jackets. Yeah, inconclusive. <laughs> I would not be surprised. Oh, shit. That's rough. Maybe an automatic instead, yeah. This bit is spicy AF. Seriously. Right. Oh, good lord. Uh, the auto-targeting system is really inefficient for this. Right, he's done. Now, where? there's the grenade guy in the top corner. With a flak jacket, because why not, eh? Whew. All right. Now, it's actually giving me a headache. Not quite sure why you would uh, opt to put such an obnoxious effect. I suppose they were pushing boundaries at the time. Um, now. Sure, somebody pops his head out there. Yep. Eat lead. You miserable cretin. Now, we're pretty close to the end now. Oh, God. Hi. Hi, guys. In fact, very close to the end now, I believe. There's some armor. Oh, yeah, there's quite a lot of armor there, actually. All right. Right. Now, we need to run into the toilets. Avoiding this guy. Because the cops are closing in. Teresa? Where are you? It's a trap, John. Get out. It's a trap! Are you okay? Where are you? You're breaking up. I can't hear you. I'm heading out of the building now. As soon as we find Greg Roth, we'll have some answers. Sweet freedom. Okay, cool. Right, you can see those cops coming on the radar, but we are just gonna get out of it. Actually, I don't think they come into this room. But they will kill you with absolute prejudice. So, bear that in mind. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna leave that one here. Thank you very much for watching. And when we come back, well, we're gonna go onto the mean streets and try and hunt down Gregorov if we can. Thank you very much for watching.